consider it don't even think twice okay say chima told you hi fam welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome you're welcome to the channel please do consider subscribing and to my old and returning and always returning subscribers like i really really appreciate your presence you come back to watch my content i really really do appreciate you thank you so very much so we all know on this platform we are here to either share or learn and as well we are, some of us are here to have fun as well so in my previous video i shared 11 beauty style and full-time hustle anyone can do here in south africa if you don't know already i'm a youtuber who lives in south africa with my husband and my family so that video really prompted this one and i will tell you in a bit after sharing that video the video didn't even get a lot of views and I got to people who reached out to me who came to they came to my my, my place as well to tell me they want to go into the beauty industry they want to learn makeup they want to learn how to do nails and all that and I felt moved okay if that video could at least help just two people I'm okay I'm satisfied so in today's video I want to talk about as a woman living here in South Africa aside the salon business aside you going into nursing because a lot of people say nurses earn a lot aside the beauty business and aside the nursing and um, profession what other businesses can people embark on here in south africa what are, what other businesses do people do here in south africa in no particular order i would like i would love to talk about the dry cleaning services here we all know dry cleaning is the process of cleaning people's clothes watching dry cleaning people's clothes beddings you know laundry is basically for people and if you're considering going to dry cleaning business you should consider your target market your target audience you should also consider your competitors here okay it is very 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 important your target audience which is people who bring laundries to you your target market the kind of laundries you want to do because i know a lot of people who are into dry cleaning services and all that some people they clean shares offer trees beddings you know the kind of garments you choose to wash here should be your target market you know and also put your competitors into consideration here if you're going into any business definitely you should know your competitors okay and also if you've decided to go into dry cleaning business here in south africa i think it's it will also favor you as a foreigner like someone like me who is coming from another country and you know the country where i'm coming from we do not have electricity if i want to go into venture into this kind of business in my country i should put electricity into consideration like it should be one of my priorities when going to into such kind of business but here in south africa to an extent electricity is very very stable and if there is gonna be um load shedding and all that we have a lot of apps that are gonna notify you when there will be load shedding okay then you can now make plans for yourself so this business is a very lucrative one and if you feel like it's something you want to venture in you can do a lot of this more of research on that as well so the second business one can go into or second career path a woman here in south africa whether foreigner or anybody can venture into is event planning event planning is something i cannot even overemphasize on like it's a big thing now we all know that people are now into um planning events a lot you can if you're someone who has passion for organizing special events special occasions you've organized your sister's wedding before you've organized your friend's wedding before you can as well make it a career okay you can as well make it a your, your side hustle event planning if you're good in organizing you know f the first thing you should do if uh, if like for me the first thing i would do if i want to venture into a ca this career path i should have a social media presence if i've organized any birthday party or any event for anyone i can just you know make people know that this i'm the one who organized this and all that share on your whatsapp status just have a social media presence you can organize people's bridal shower birthday parties picnics for people you know just for a token just for little money you can start small okay you you, you cannot just um uh, plan someone's wedding 
you know you cannot just wait to plan someone's wedding you can plan someone's birthday, birthday party you can tell me where i'm gonna go take my beautiful pictures tell me where i can go for my games you know little little by little and you can see yourself grow from there and make it a business yeah like event planning is one business that is moving here in south africa and you can look into it also the next skill here on my list should be the tailoring and fashion designing um, career path here in south africa we all know me comparing comparing the amount i make dresses here in south africa it is quite expensive okay like i don't want to lie making dresses here in south africa it is expensive when i wait like when the nigerian girl in me calculates the money i'm paying for just a dress oh my god <laughs> i feel like oh i wish i'm in nigeria oh 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 i wish i took my, my my tailoring skills to another level oh i wish i oh i wish i always wish okay and i'm not taking it for granted i'm getting my sewing machine very soon and i'm taking that career part just to make dress for myself because yes i learned how to sew so what am i trying to say if you have the tailoring skills if you know how to sew dresses if you know how to make beautiful dresses trust me trust me trust me when i say so you're gonna make a good amount of money okay quote me anyway the second business uh, i will advise any woman here in south africa whether foreigner or whether you're foreign national or you're a south african should also be nutrition and health coach here in south africa a lot of people are they are really big on, on weight loss eating right and all that people of my age that i've seen you know a lot of people are into weight loss a lot of people are going into weight loss journey so if you if you're someone who love um eating right you can also think about doing it as a business you can also think about doing it as your side hustle okay you can take a short course on nutrition and health coaching and all that you can also sell products okay product that will help us lose weight okay products that will help us lose weight in the right areas maybe in your belly areas and all that you can do that for a living i and trust me you will make a living out of it you can make a side a beautiful side hustle out of it the third business if i'm not mistaken here on my list is catering and baking skills like <laughs> oh my goodness if you're in if if you're a woman and you know how to bake if you're a woman and you know how to cater this business is for you if you've been contemplating on starting because a lot of women who know how to cater i know a lot of women who, women who know how to bake but they don't want to take it to the next level and they've been searching for side hustles you do well in things that you find pleasure doing i don't know if you get what i mean you do well in things that you do happily if your happy place is cooking if your happy place is baking and catering i think you should consider this hustle for yourself yeah so so catering and baking services you can look into that if you're here in south africa and you want a side hustle or a full-time job to do catering and baking services is one profitable business i promise you the fifth point here also has to do with food there are a lot of people who do not know this kind of jobs exist um which is the meal prep meal prep business there, there are a lot of people who do not have time to cook they don't have time to especially guys they don't have time to cook if you ask me they are busy with their work and all that when they are back they, they don't even have time to enter the kitchen so if you can prep meals for people and dispatch to them for a for a particular amount of money i think that business also is a is is a fast growing business if you've not heard about it here it is you can also do small shops this is also under the catering and baking services you can do small shops like samosa uh, we call it puff puff but here they call it mafinia you can do those things and deliver to people on their special occasions and all that yes it is a profitable business if you ask me Since services of business or career path you can follow if you're living here in south africa should be the crutch business crutch business or babysitting business okay <laughs> like if you don't want to go professionally because if i call crutch you have to do it professionally so let's just break it down to the babysitting business okay if you're someone who is good with kids 
and you have your own kids too and you're a full-time stay-at-home mom you can babysit other people's kids if you don't mind and here in south africa there is a certain amount of money that babysitters are being paid okay you can research on that if you're someone who also is capable of opening a crutch why not do so on a crutch um check uh, do your background check on the requirements and everything you will need and the qualifications you will need to own a crash I bet you crash business or oh, it is very very profitable here and It is profitable if you have kids in crash, you know what I'm talking about So other jobs you can do as well as a woman living in South Africa is mini importation you can go into mini importation if you're in nigeria you can import things from nigeria and sell to your clients here in south africa you can as well do drop shipping if you want to know more on drop shipping you can also do affiliate marketing okay if you want to know more on affiliate marketing you can check affiliate affiliate marketing.co.za here in south africa you can check out um, their website you get a lot of information on affiliate marketing if it's something you would love to do the next job one can do here in south africa as a woman is becoming a travel a, a travel agent okay here in south africa travel agencies are making a big time south africans love to travel south africans love to go for picnic they love to travel basically this week alone i know two people one went to Durban, one went to sun city just like that and they they went to have fun okay and they traveled with flight and all that so travel agencies will help you do all those things stress-free okay all you have to all, all you have to do is just pick up your bag and travel if you're someone who is into traveling you can look into that as well last but not the least becoming an accountant is very 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 we all know going to school is good so accountants get job in private firms in private or even if you don't get jobs in the government sector you can get jobs in the private firms here in south africa and we all know we are here for it if you're an accountant a shepherd accountant or you know go look for a job you will get a job here in south africa so that is it for the jobs i have for you that you can look into here in south africa we've come to the end of this video we are here to share we are here to learn if you have more ideas or more business ideas or more career paths people can do here in south africa please and please leave it down in the comment section for people to you know we we, we rise by lifting others you know just leave it in the comment section and i will be there so we can interact more okay i will see you very very soon in my next one bye